All right, so here is the Winterell Woodlander. No, it's not here. Let me turn on my my headlamp. It's kind of dark in here right now. You're going to get to see a lot more of the stove. I'm going to go ahead and light it up for the very first time. I'm going to open everything up all the way. I'm going to open that up there. I'm going to open these up. And I'm just going to put this little zip fire starter just underneath there. I'm going to let it burn. It should catch this wood. I just wanted this load it up to see how user friendly it is and I think it'll work fine. So let's see here. Ooh, I don't think we'll have a problem at all. Look at that sucker lick the flames in there. Cool. I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna leave this open just to pull in a whole bunch of air right now. This is the first burn for this stove. I'm really excited. Uh, like I said, this is the Winterell Woodlander. And uh, I think this is going to be a really, really awesome addition to our hot tent. That's just that a little zip cube in there. That's cool. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good times. So I started up the stove before I set the rest of the tent up on the inside, just because that way I've got the door open here um, in case there's anything on the outside of the stove that's going to burn off. But honestly, you know, it's 304 stainless steel, I believe, and I've got nothing, absolutely nothing. This is, oh, this is great. And this stove is very warm all the way around. I'm super excited to use this. Look at that thing, that is so cool. Now this is the medium, if I haven't mentioned that or not. You can see him over there fooling around. That's my bro amigo, Steve-o. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. We're just setting up. He's got his hot tent stove going. He's got his stove set up. He's getting dinner ready. Uh, we got here a little late. Uh, where we wanted to go was way over but it's completely plowed shut. We can't get in there. There's the fire ring right there, completely buried. Um, yep, so this is kind of the life tonight for us, but we originally, it's supposed to rain tonight, but um, originally we were gonna put our tent doors really close together and put a vestibule between us, but not with the uh, not with the rain coming. So, say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. What do you guys hear? Coyotes. Coyotes, huh? They're barking. They're howling. In a cute way. Mm -hmm. There's some around here. Keegan's got his... Getting his socks on the edge of the winter ale there. Hanging it on the winter well stove. So we're going to get our cot set up, and then we're going to get some food going, huh, guys? Yeah. I'm going to have something like spaghetti. Yeah, something like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. It's nice and warm in here, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Oh, you got foggy. It's around 60 degrees. <laughs> So the boys are all snug in here. Steve-O's over there in his tent. He's all snug. Got a little movie playing in there for him. This Winterwell stove is super awesome. Can't really see the spark arrestor too well up there, but I tell you what. I'll show more of it to you guys in the morning. It is super great. So that spotlight is going to be kind of aggravating, but I guess that's what you get sometimes when you got to do a little bit of park camping. I'm just coming out here to 
use the restroom and I'm gonna take the guy's boots here take the boys boots and put them inside and we're gonna hunker down for the night Ooh, winds picking up it's supposed to rain 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 on us so we'll see Mary Poppins returns it's, it's what we're going to make some sauce. He has a good voice. Mm -hmm. We got one boy sleeping over here. Stowe's doing a good job. I've actually turned it down. I can turn it down more, but yep. I got another boy over here sleeping all nice and snug. We got our milk over there up against the tent wall, so yep. Just been sitting here on my my Neo Air. Just kind of enjoying that show you what it's like without the, the light on it's beautiful there you go this is really something just to be laying here and kind of staring at it I want to kill that fire down a little bit I'll just turn that I'm gonna shut the shut the damper on the stove jack or on the stove pipe. Burn for a while. Burn pretty long, I'm sure. Since we've been here, I've only filled the stove one time. Well, let me rephrase that. I filled the stove one time when I got here. And I just put two logs on it. I've cooked dinner. Tea. I made a sauce. That was good. Good morning. We are. Well, we've been awake for a little while now. We've been awake for about an hour and a half, two hours. Keegan and I and Dorian just poked his eyes open there. Hi, Dorian. Hi, Dorian. You sleep good? Yeah. Let me grab my grab my tea here. So. We have made the decision though that we are going to be packing up camp unfortunately early because there's a break in the rain and it's been raining its butt off and the wind has picked up a lot. It's 33 degrees right now uh, according to my thermometer and my concern is is that if it starts to snow too much or starts to snow if it keeps raining the way it is everything's going to be covered in ice and the wind's picking up pretty bad. Fortunately, I've got a break right or there's a break right now where it's not too windy But when the wind does come it's it's bad it splashes water um, Up through here not bad. I mean everything we have is is dry, but we get the little little spray don't we? You know kind of like if you're whacking the side of a wet tent that little splash that you get but But we're just gonna make the call um, I've got the stove warmed up we're staying nice and warm. I'm just packing everything up, kind of taking my time doing that, enjoying some some tea. But yeah, it's, it's sometimes it's just how it goes. With the snow, it's one thing. With the ice, it's a completely another thing. But the stove, let me show you the stove real quick. It's been doing a great job. All right, so here is the stove. It kind of looks like a, a mess, but it's actually organized chaos here. We've got our kettle. Over here are our dishes and some paracord that we've been using to hang some stuff up. The kids' bibs underneath the stove, which is really nice, gives it a good platform. Our wood, cutting station, and gloves. Our reflectix, which is kind of at a weird angle right now, but that's just because we are on like a foot of snow. Steve had to leave because of his reflex. 
Oh, oh yeah, Steve-O, he had to leave because of his reflectics. What happened was, um, <laughs> his back, his back section of reflectics had fallen. I think he had a piece up here and it had fallen down and hit the back side of his stove. Well, then what happened was it melted and it smoked him out of his tent. He thought it was going to be able to burn it off, but he couldn't, so. That sucks, but that's what he happens. Like oh, he left at about 4 a.m. Probably seemed really early to you, but the stove has been doing a really great job. Got some nice coals in here. We're going to just take another piece of wood that we got. It looks like a 2x4, but it's not. That's actually... <laughs> That's the other piece to this. Looks like a 2x4. <laughs> so Keegan has the old hickory. It's the 7-inch uh, blade. It's a really cool knife. It's just uh, a really, really affordable kind of bushcraft knife or entrance into bushcraft, but... It's a good all-around knife just for chopping and cutting and messing around with, especially for a kid. But he has, uh, he actually bought the old, the, an original version of it at, the not, yeah, at the bushcraft show that I had and, um, that Jason and I had and he liked it so much I found a new one for him made by the Ontario Knife Company there it says on the blade, made in the USA. The cool thing is, is I found these sheaths from K-Bar. So, his knife goes right in there really, really smooth. I brought my other knife with me. The original one. Yeah, you brought your other one with you too? It's in the car. Alright, just showing us some stretches, huh? I'm yeah. He doesn't feel too hot. He's got a cough, so. So I was just telling him a story about, I'll finish telling the story because it's funny. I telling him a story about how last summer we went uh, camping and we had eggs. <laughs> and I went to, I went to get all the eggs and cook for breakfast and I swore I was missing an egg. But with these two, anytime I, <laughs> I have eggs. <coughs> They like to throw them. <laughs> Look at them. No. So I figured maybe I lost an egg. And, uh, you know, I didn't think too much of it. And I told my wife, man, I think I lost an egg. And I looked all over the car and I couldn't find it. Well, yesterday, I had to wash uh, one of our sleeping bags because of an angry raccoon. But anyway, it's uh, our our extreme cold weather bag that we have. So I was cleaning underneath the seat while it was drying in the in the van and I found the egg. I found the egg. It was underneath the passenger seat Oops. on the rail. So I took it and I stepped on the side of the golden horse Londorama and I threw the egg on the ground and it smelled like a dead body. I mean, I don't know how dead bodies smell, but I'm pretty sure that was the I was smell. I just about how do you know how a dead body smells. I don't, but if if I could imagine how a dead body smelled, it was that egg. Gross. <laughs> I thought you guys... We lost threw. it since last summer. Yep. So, yeah, it was pretty nasty, <laughs> but yet it was funny that I found an egg from the summer in the car that it didn't break. That's insane. It's raining. It's raining pretty bad out there. And it's cold. It is 32 degrees, which worries me because I don't want to be stuck 35 miles away from home and have it nothing but ice. So we're heading out. We didn't get to make our breakfast. We actually put our, our winter well stove back in the box because uh, the box is really heavy duty and it makes great for transport. Um, you know, just because it's we've been using it all night and the winter well did a great job. So what I'm thinking we're gonna probably do is go home and uh, we might just use it. We might just cook some food on it just yeah. because we really like it a lot. Should we do that? Yeah, so 
Well, we're gonna go home and we're gonna fire that stove back up and we're gonna make some lunch. I'm kind of happy that it's raining because we have got nothing but snow. I'm not happy that it's raining because it's still snow. And now it's raining on top of it. And now it's gonna get the ah no fun. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Dad, is the stove running yet? Dad. Hey, we're recording. Hey, we're recording.